here. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with Mr. Michael John Klutz. How are we doing? World Wide Web, good to see you. He's a Bible teacher here at Worthington Christian Middle School. And we, we wanted to bring you on and get your thoughts on what do you think of this Warrior offense? It's looking strong this year. Definitely looking strong. I have been impressed by what I'm seeing in the second quarter tonight. Uh, I love what I'm seeing from DJ Moore this year. Much improved, I would say. Uh, it's got to be Christmas time, guys, because he's been dishing out gifts all game from every boy and girl. Everybody's getting assists tonight from DJ. What do you say? Well, I mean, that's that's factual evidence right there. DJ has 10 assists in this first half. 10 assists? That's more than the entire Mount Gilead team. Woo! So, you know, that that is a big part of their game. Now, what do you think about how Mount Gilead can turn this around? Well, I love what Mount Gilead is doing on the press break, and they always are getting penetration in the lane, and we're not stopping it yet. So, uh, you know, who knows? Christmas miracle? I think so. And of course, you being a basketball legend yourself, mm. if if you had to go into the game, what would you do as a player if you're WC to increase the score? Uh, in the second quarter, they started feeding the post. And there are some kids who are hungry down there. We need to get them the rock. So I love the entry passes that we're starting to show. That needs to happen more often because we need easy buckets. It's too hard in the first quarter. Second quarter, we started dominating. And that's because things were easier. So good job, boys. How do you think the Indians are going to be able to get back into this game? Because they got a huge deficit here. So what changes do you think we're going to see? Well, if it was me shooting, I'd be shooting from the sticker. <laughs> I'd be shooting those half-court shots, but that's not good basketball. I don't know. I think maybe uh, keep they spread the ball well, keep keep moving the ball, um, and maybe wear it down the Warriors. But I don't know. That Warriors size advantage is pretty obvious tonight, David. No, that's for sure. And as we discussed, I mean, Isaiah Hazelwood, 6'5". The height advantage is clearly... Uh, on the side of the Warriors, and the Gilly Mount Gilead's going to have to make up for that. But what would you say about this speed some of Mount Gilead players have? Because some of them are pretty fast, and they're able to get around those guys. Um, you know, number three, Corey Fricky, for example, great speed. And do you think that's going to pose a threat for some of these bigger guys that may not be as agile? Uh, possibly, but I think honestly that I think that we're in good shape tonight. Uh, we're 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 kind of we're wearing them down, and, and so I feel like uh, they're trying their best. But I think maybe we might have this tonight, David. Okay, as we wrap this up, one last question for you: If you had to describe this WC team in one word, what would it be? Christmas magic with a hyphen. <laughs> so it's all one word then. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Okay, thank you, Mr. Thank you, Mr. for joining Klutz. us. Thank you, boys. As we get back to the game, these guys tuned. are the best. <laughs> Keep watching.